Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing off 5 really cool mods that have pretty much been forgotten. All of these mods were popular at one point, being featured in hundreds of YouTube videos in the past, but have since been pushed out of the spotlight by newer mods. But that doesn't mean they aren't still fun. A perfect example of this is our first mod, Fossils and Archaeology. As its name suggests, Fossils and Archaeology is about, well, fossils and archaeology, but it was mostly known for adding various dinosaurs to the game, such as these velociraptors you see here on the screen. Now, to get these dinosaurs, you would have to first dig up fossils and then put the fossils in an analyzer. There was a small chance that you would get the DNA of a dinosaur or other prehistoric animal or plant from this process. Then you would have to put the DNA in a cultivator in order to get an egg, which you could then use to hatch the dinosaur. There's dozens of different kinds of dinosaurs and other prehistoric life added by this mod, and many other features that I didn't even mention, so I recommend you check it out on your own. Next is the Mutant Creatures mod, which adds a bunch of new mutated varieties of several mobs. To get started, you'll need to make Chemical X, and then you'll need to splash it on a mob that has the capability to become a mutant. Each mutant mob has its own unique abilities and are much stronger than their non-mutant counterparts. They also have new drops, with some even dropping custom armor, weapons, and even a new type of pet. Next up, we have Thermal Foundation, a tech mod that adds all sorts of new devices and materials. It's got tons of add-ons as well, further expanding the arsenal of tech it already provides. It would take forever to show off all of the machinery from the base mod and its add-ons, so I recommend you go test it out for yourself. Next is the Erebus, a really cool dimension mod. To access the dimension, you'll need to make a portal frame out of stone bricks in any shape you'd like, and then fill it with leaves. Then you'll need a guy in pedestal and a staff to light the portal. The Erebus dimension is filled with plant and insect life and has a diverse array of mobs, items, and blocks. It's a very large mod with tons of new features, and I definitely recommend checking it out on your own time. Last but not least, we have the Weather, Storms, and Tornadoes mod. This mod adds more realistic weather and storms to the game. Weather is localized, so it could be storming in one part of the world and be perfectly clear in another. Some of the more powerful storms can even pick up blocks and mobs, so it's really cool. If you enjoy this type of content, then make sure to like and subscribe as well as check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.